Hey. Hi, Jolie. Hi, Will. I was going to say. How are you? I, I miss back. you. <laughs> you oh too. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see you again. It's been I know, so, I was it's like, been like a year now. I know. I was like, bring the whole, I was like, more the merrier. Bring everybody in. And then I was yes. like, Will. And then I like reunited. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys. I talked to Will last I So much has happened. I think that was like a year ago. But. I think we did like yeah. a fun game. So I know it was about cars. Yes, it was like We're literally the most fun I've ever had in an interview ever. <laughs> I will always remember that interview forever. It was <laughs> the best thing in the world. Oh my God, that's so nice. Well, welcome back and welcome to you guys too. We love, oh my God, look at the dog. You know, deciding to join. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Okay, so Bunked, it's about to come out May 31st. How are you guys feeling? I'm, I'm feeling excited. really I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited for, for all the rest of the episodes to come, start coming out. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be really cool. How was it wearing the face shields on set, but see, seeing each other again when you guys were filming? You know, it was definitely different than what we were used to because we had never worn a mask in front of each other ever. Like, because sometimes um you would see your friend like occasionally like at the grocery store during COVID but like we didn't see anyone on set so it was like kind of weird to see everyone at first with face masks on I was like I'm not used to this and then it quickly became a reality and then we were like oh okay this isn't that yeah bad. I would say it was definitely a bit of an adjustment um but it's gotten to the point now where it's like I'll forget I'm wearing a mask and I'll just wear it for like an hour even though I'm at home and I'm like oh yeah I forgot to take this thing off <laughs> literally yeah yeah after a while I think we got like all used to it but at first it was definitely a little weird just seeing you know the eyes of people it's like you know it was kind of weird but huh but you know we got used to it and the more we went through season five you know the more it became just the normal okay well 100th episode that's pretty major and it's coming out during the summer so we decided to do a little summer quiz so it's like related Ooh. to the show, but it's also related to real life summer questions. Okay. So I'm going to okay. ask you a quiz. I'm going to give you three options for each answer and you're going to have to try to guess the right one, but it's summer related and one is related to the show. So if you guys don't know it, that's going to be bad because you're in the show. Okay. <laughs> I hope I know it. I, I hope <laughs> you guys do too. Really bad. <laughs> okay. Ready for the first one? Ready. Okay. Yes. All right. You go camping. This is real life question. So you go camping, you're sleeping in a tent, and all of a sudden a bear comes to your tent. Okay. So picture the bear up in your tent. Do you slowly like creep out of the tent, back up so you're at least 10 feet apart, and then run? Do you not move? You don't run just as long, no matter what, do not run. Or <laughs> do you wait till it gets close to you? Let's it sniff you and then just hope it goes away. Which one? B, for sure B. You want to make sure you're as still as possible. So A either doesn't recognize you or doesn't think that you're a threat. Yeah, I'd say B. Yeah, or, or you, uh, you act dead uh, and then, and then it, it'll leave you alone. But make sure you act dead for a long time because they are smart and they like look mm -hmm. back and they're like, are you dead? Well, yeah, and, and also because if they think you're dead, sometimes they'll come back and sniff you. Yes. And, and like, if you get startled, they're like, they like attack. <laughs> On black bear versus brown bear too. Like one you make noise for and one you play dead for. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys know a lot about bears. I did not <laughs> expect that. Yeah. The only thing is, is that like, I can't remember what you have to do for each bear. So like, I'm going to see like a black bear and then I'm going to start screaming and then it's going to like attack me. Yeah. You're just going to have to hope for the best. Just stand there, don't move. And just really? Cross your fingers. I did what I could. Okay. So the most stream song of last summer, so summer 2020 was Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Rockstar by the baby featuring Roddy Rich or Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. I'm going to see. wait, wait, do we pick which one's our favorite? Yeah, which one? What when do you think? Oh, Rockstar for sure. Uh, I'm gonna say C. I don't know, it's a summer song. Sugar? I would say C too. Watermelon Sugar. You know, please don't like attack me for this, but Watermelon Sugar. 
the the concept is cool but they play it on the radio so much so like I, and I always listen to the radio whenever I go into a car and as soon as the car turns on I hear watermelon sugar and then I'm like oh my gosh and then I can't but I think you're like the yeah. only person that listens to the radio. I mean, I know. I'm. I guess I just need to get with the times. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a pretty big Harry Styles fan, so, so I can't say I hate them not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is "Rock Star" by the Baby, featuring Roddy Rich. Ooh, so Will got it. But I can see the confusion because those are like the top three songs of like the whole year. So I would have probably yeah, really Harry Styles too. So yeah, those are the most popular ones. Okay, ready for the next one? You're making yes. s'mores. What is the correct way to make a s'more? Is it marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker? Graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow? Or chocolate, set that aside, put on the graham cracker, then roast your marshmallow. Uh, What's the correct way to assemble a s'more? Oh, I see what you mean. Um, well... You, you, the first thing that you do is just is put the marshmallow in the two graham crackers and then uh, and then the chocolate probably goes on the bottom I would say the bottom I because yeah, I do I feel like if it goes on the top then it could like, like drip down on the marshmallow and then it like get on your hand and then just be crusty I do yeah graham cracker chocolate marshmallow graham cracker yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah, I, I agree that I think it should be on the bottom, just so it stays on the bottom of the marshmallow and you get the crunch of the graham cracker, the sweetness of the marshmallow, and then you get more sweetness from the chocolate and then finish it off with the crunch from the graham cracker. It was a trick yeah. question. There's no correct answer, but I wanted to see how you guys build your s'mores. <laughs> you got so elaborate with it, too. We were like, the, oh, so the marshmallow encloses it and traps the heat to melt the chocolate. That's, that's the most important thing, guys. <laughs> There's like a strategy. No, I remember. It. <laughs> no, Mallory and I did a s'mores competition. Oh yeah. And what we do? Is, so we we get so you know how those um metal marshmallow sticks have like two little prongs at the end. Yeah. And then so on those two ends we would get our little stick of chocolate and then we would put it on top and then let it sit over the fire for like maybe 10 seconds. Yeah. So then it'd be nice and like gooey by the time it hits the actual s'more. It's always best to melt your chocolate it first. It worked. But I'm gonna be really honest. I've never been a chocolate guy on my s'more. Me either. I've never been a chocolate girl. I, I mean, oh, I love chocolate like plain, but yeah. like, I mean, I feel like when I'm doing a s'more, I feel like it's just gotta be graham cracker and then the marshmallow, exactly. especially if the marshmallow is cooked to perfection. I oh mean, I'll do just graham cracker and marshmallow, and I'll take the chocolate on the side, you know? I don't need it with it. <laughs> yes. real. Oh my I God. like that it's on the side. It's your appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the chocolate on the side, please? Robbie, I was like, I don't care. He's like, I don't, <laughs> you guys are, you like, know, I like, for that. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna sound really bad, but I'm not much of a s'mores guy in general. You know, I like to eat chocolate, uh, maybe graham cracker, maybe a little marshmallow, my hot cocoa, but all of them <laughs> separate. You know, he's Never not at the bonfire. That. He's not there. He's no, he's, no. he's in the woods somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's in the kitchen making something else. <laughs> yes, bring it out to the fire. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what was the most popular ice cream flavor of summer 2020 mint chocolate chip vanilla or chocolate i think it's got to be vanilla yeah i think it's vanilla just because it's like a timeless classic and i think everybody's getting it like at multiple times in the year I, no matter how time. i'm gonna I'm gonna i'm gonna be different from you guys i'm gonna go with mint chocolate chip because it's the one that's you know a little bit different a little bit out there yeah I have no idea the, the only thing about mint chocolate chip is that yeah. I feel like they're like I, I personally like it but I feel like there are a lot of people out there that don't really like it as much as like a like strawberry chocolate or vanilla like I don't, I don't know like why it. a lot of people that are but, like I don't like it but a lot of people like there's always that one friend that orders it when you go it's yeah. always that yeah, one and, and, friend and that's like, they, make chocolate and you're like they don't get anything else nothing. that's it like there's so much op so many options and you're just gonna go with one yeah I'm, I'm actually like I I'm not a big fan of mint chocolate chip 
because it's kind of like refreshing, but like kind of decadent at the same time, you know, because of the chocolate. Yeah. So I think that it's a, a, like a kind of like a, a flavor that it's not my favorite. Like I, I prefer like a chocolate or something, but uh, but yeah, I definitely see like the appeal of like summertime, you know, having like a mint chocolate chip cone, it'll be cool. Yeah, yeah sure. I have no idea Valor. really. <laughs> I like peach ice cream during the summer. I do homemade peach ice cream and it's delicious. That's so summer. That just screams summer. I know. It really does. It's so refreshing. <laughs> the correct answer though is chocolate. So you guys all got it wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my really? God. Chocolate strikes me as like, I guess a winter flavor, but then no one really has ice cream in winter time, but like. Yeah, you're you're out in the cold getting cold <laughs> with, your, <laughs> with your ice cream, but wow. Well, okay. So in the show, this is in the show. So you guys prepare. This is the trick, or this is the tricky, not trick, tricky question. How many total number of campers have been sprayed by a skunk? 24, 16, I should know this. or nine? I'm going to say 16, just because it's a middle point between all of them. I don't know. Nine. <laughs> I'll go with 24. I'm gonna go nine. Man, I remember that she's nine, but drum roll. <laughs> it was 16. Raphael oh, got right. Oh, of course. It's always the middle number. Thank you. B, always put B instead of C on the test. Put it out B. Brought the <laughs> superstition <laughs> in. <laughs> 16 can you recall who a couple people who have been sprayed by the skunk um uh, xander ava uh i thought i thought was, wasn't there a skunk bit with you will and in, in season three yeah but i can't remember i don't think i got stung i do remember what you talk, no oh yeah he was like friends with me because we both like smelled really bad yeah something like that <laughs> it was, it was, it was yeah, something along the lines of that Oh, oh, um, I think I think actually Sky or um Zuri did in season two, maybe. Guys, yeah. rewatch hundredth episodes coming up. You gotta <laughs> no. hundred episodes. We gotta up our game. <laughs> we gotta up our game. Okay, ready? Last one. What is the most popular road trip snack? I know road trips coming up in this season, so. Mm -hmm. So, one at least in the south, pork yeah. rinds are That's, really yeah pork rinds. Oh 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 wait, there were options. I'm sorry, <laughs> I like totally started <laughs> like, talking. Go for it. I mean, like, <laughs> okay, trail mix, fresh fruit, or jerky. Jerky. I'm gonna say I'm a, I I want to go with jerky, but. I'm going to go with fresh fruit just because I love fresh fruit. So I'm just going to. I, I, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't want the jerky. I personally would choose fresh fruit, but I feel like trail mix is going to be the best option. Because it's the most. Get the different yeah. one every fresh time. Fruit, it'd be kind of hard to carry in the car with you. Depending the fruit. Well, like you're get like fruit. little snack bags. Yeah, have trail mix. You have snack yeah. bags with trail mix. Well, oh. trail mix, yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Jerky. I knew it. I knew it. It's just so con like you know, like you can find it really anywhere. You know, like I it's mean, really unless yeah. you're unless you have a dietary restriction that says you can't that you don't eat jerky. <laughs> Tell me one road trip where you haven't had jerky. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, I just I drove. Cross Mallory has. I, I just <laughs> drove cross country and I literally had jerky. I think Never probably did. once a day. Yeah, I did. It was essential. Mm -hmm. You knew this was such a good, you do yeah. it in the show, like road trips coming up in this season. Yeah. Real life. Exactly. Jerky everywhere. <laughs> I mean, jerky's coming for you. <laughs> what is, is one, real quick before we end, what is one scene in this, in the new episodes coming up that is your favorite? I know it's a pretty broad question, but spill what you can about it. Oh, I think this might have already came out yeah it did come out but I mean I say this all the time but it was just so much fun um Mallory I think you know where I'm going with this but when we did the talk show episode oh like yeah 
there wasn't a single scene in that episode that I didn't love. <laughs> that I loved that episode. Even all the other storylines too. They were just so fun. Yeah. And, um, and the episode that Miranda wrote too was really, really funny. Seriously. I mean, Rafa. I love this too. And then for upcoming episodes that are about to air, we actually have one where Will and I, we, we kind of want to figure out what our legend is going to be at Camp Kikiwaka, and we have some really fun scenes with that. That's gonna yeah. Be, that's going to be mm-hmm. fun. A lot of adventures. That's actually, I think that's our 100th episode, is that one. Oh, yeah, because I think it's when uh, yeah. so- something else happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to talk about that, but again, I can't spoil too much. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the episode 12, I think, or whatever our uh, 100th episode is, um, we meet our uh, my uh, Mateo's mom. And so uh, I can't, again, I can't spoil too much, but uh, there's some pretty cool scenes in that episode. I just really like the scenes that I was able to do. Uh, you know, there was a little of a, you know, drama and realization and, you know, a bunch of comedy bits, of course, and, you know, and, uh, and a little bit of combat. And that's okay. all I'll say. <laughs> There's a lot of combat. <laughs> yeah, but I'll just say a little. A little. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Well, congrats on everything this season, that all the episodes coming out, 100th episode. You guys are a great cast. You're fun to watch. Yes. Thank you so much. much. Okay. Thank you so much. I had a blast. Great meeting you guys, too. Yeah. Bye. Yes.